नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज डाटा फॉर्मेट सो अंडर द हेडिंग ऑफ द डाटा फॉर्मेट द डिफरंट मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेस ऑफ ऑफ द डेटा एंड द रिग्रेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन आर गिवन सो हाउ डाटा इज रिप्रेजेंटेड सो हियर डाटा सेट यक्स इज हैविंग द एम फ्यूचर वैल्यूज इज रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक दिस कैपिटल एक्स इक्व टू एक्स वन कॉमा एक्स टू कॉमा डैश डैश एक्स एन वेयर ईच एक्स आई बिलोंग्स टू आर टू दी पावर एम द मीनिंग ऑफ धीज इज यक्स इज द होल डाटा सेट एंड दीज आर द पैटर्न्स सो हाउ मेनी पैटर्न डाटा सेट इज हैविंग एन नंबर ऑफ पैटर्न्स मीन्स एन नंबर ऑफ रोज एंड ईच रो मीन्स ईच पैटर्न लाइक एक्स वन इज द फर्स्ट पैटर्न एक्स टू इज द सेकंड पैटर्न एंड एक्स एन इज द एंथ पैटर्न सो ईच पैटर्न एक्स आय बिलोंग्स टू तो यम वैल्यूज यम वैल्यूड वेक्टर मीन्स इट कन्सिस्ट ऑफ अम फीचर वैल्यूज सो ईच रो इज हैविंग द यम फीचर्स सो यम इज द नंबर ऑफ द फीचर्स और एट्रीब्यूट्स सो इन शॉर्ट डाटा सेट इज हैविंग द एन रोज एंड यम फीचर्स सो एन बाय एम इज द साइज डायमेन्शन्स ऑफ अ डाटा सेट now by considering the probabilistic approach data set x consists of samples that are independent on each other means all the records or all the uh, samples are independent on each other like suppose the data set is of students then uh, all the students are independent on each other it doesn't happen that if one students uh, values are increasing then other students value will be decreasing or increasing means all the patterns are independent on each other that type of distribution we are considering and also each variable follows the same distribution d consisting of m values is so whatever the m attributes are there for each attribute vector or for each attribute column is following the same type of distribution same type of probability distribution If, therefore it is represented like p that is probability of m values so m features it can be represented by using a, this is a symbol of a product and when we can use this product as we know the probability knowledge whenever there are n independent events then probability of a total event can be cal uh, calculated as a product of the n uh, probabilities of n independent events so uh, these are the independent events that's why this is a product symbol is used and 1 to m that is m feature values are there that's why uh, this product symbol is there now how the regression is represented uh, mathematically so regression is represented like here y equals to the target label this is the input data now this is the target label that is the last column as we have total n number of patterns n number of samples the same number of values will be the uh, target label so for the first pattern first row x1 uh, the corresponding label will be the y1 for the x2 the corresponding label will be the y2 and for the xn pattern xn pattern the corresponding label will be the yn so in this way these are the target labels as this is a regression problem so output labels this is y1 y2 yn these are the numeric values numeric values uh, that if you if you are considering a probabilistic distribution then that values uh, that value may be in between 0 to 1 range it can be anything between 0 to 1 but it will be a numeric value because it is a regression problem in case of a classification how it can be represented like each class label can be uh, the uh, can be the one of the value from the set like classes can be a red black white and green in this case four classes can be there so for each x for each input pattern any one class might be there suppose for x1 red class might be there for x2 white class might be there so classes are represented here also we can use the zero or one labels for the representing a class zero one two in that way this type of class labels can also be used now next again uh, important concept in machine learning is a parametric and non parametric learning so let us try to understand the parametric and non parametric uh, as a regressor a regressor and classifier generally generically we can define Uh, without any specific equation generically we can define like uh, this equation this is an regressor r 
regressor it converts the input x into the y means from the input x y is predicted in the same way like classifier c is there uh, again whenever we are giving x as input then y will be predicted so these are the predicted uh, output equations but uh, predicted output uh, depends upon uh, input x why uh, uh, this bar is represented because input vector and output vector uh, these are uh, sorry uh, not output vector but uh, input vectors input we are giving is in terms of a vector like each input pattern is nothing but a set of the attribute values that's why it is called as a vector like student is the students marks then students age student class so these three values are there for one student so the, the student is nothing but a vector of these three values so in the same way like whenever input pattern x bar is given then output is predicted but not only this uh, output predicted output depends upon this x but it also depends upon some parameters uh, and these parameters are learned through the training means whenever we are training a particular classifier or particular regressor what it does it learns some coefficient values suppose in case of a linear regression what it learns linear regression is always represented by uh, using the equation y equals to m mx plus c m is the slope and c is the intercept so m and c values are learned through the training process so that for any x y can be predicted so here also uh, that the coefficient values are nothing but the uh, theta so theta are always the value of the theta is always learned through the training data so that for any unknown x y can be predicted because we have this knowledge in terms of these coefficients or parameters that are learned through the training so where theta is a generic uh, internal parameter i think you are getting because uh, through the training what happens um, uh, something uh, knowledge is extracted it means some parameter values are set so in linear regression m and c are learned so that for any x y is calculated therefore it is written here in both r and c that is regression and classifier predicted output is the function of the input and learn parameter theta so this is a learn parameter that's why it is called as a parametric classifier where theta is the generic internal parameter vector that is obtained through the training process so uh, regression and classifier uh, these are the example of a parametric classifiers um, if you represent this in terms of these equations but uh, suppose uh, unsupervised learning like clustering here it can be represented like uh, kc equals to cx theta like here uh, whenever we are giving x as a input and uh, theta is obtained again it is a parameter that is obtained through the uh, training process uh, and where kc equals to number of clusters like it can be between 0 to n so what are the number of clusters that are formed for the given data x then that uh, that are formed based on the learn parameter theta so theta plays a very important role in this case and also whatever the coefficient that are learned through the training that coefficients can be uh, printed uh, python provides that facility python has a sky uh, kit learn that provides the uh, instance variable that is coefficient underscore by using that we can print the learn coefficient means Uh, whenever so that algorithm we are implementing and we are running on the data then that coefficient values are obtained as output of the training process and that coefficient values are nothing but the knowledge that can be printed also by using this variable so how to print that so here is the code model equals to suppose linear regression if you consider the example of a linear regression then model dot fit x comma y that is this x uh, is the data and y is the target labels then uh, this uh, this is this is the training data input data and target labels so this is the training data when the training uh, will happen after the training like model dot coefficient suppose if you are printing then this is the value of the coefficient that is learn the coefficient it is learn that can be printed so what is the coefficient y equals to mx plus c suppose so whatever the m the value of the m uh, that is the slope line uh, slope of the line is nothing but the 9.10 now non parametric classifier uh, in many of the classifiers or there are some of the machine learning algorithms in that cases uh, there is no learning process there is no learning of a parameter like whenever we are giving a sample uh, training patterns 
that is uh, then only at that uh, time it uses the training patterns to find the output of a test pattern they consider the example of a k nearest neighbor algorithm it is an example of a instance based classifier what happens whenever some test pattern uh, is given and we have to decide the class of the test pattern how k nearest neighbor works uh, it calculates the distance of that test pattern with all the patterns and based on the distance whoever is neighbor that neighboring class is allotted to the test pattern class means uh, no pre training is uh, done in the k nearest neighbor whenever test pattern is coming then only calculation of a distances and all that things uh, computation is performed but before the tra test pattern no computation of the training data is performed means no knowledge or no parameters are learned from the training data when test data is coming then only that calculation starts so again another example navy bayesian exam uh, navy bayesian classifier decision tree classifier so these are the examples where the parameters are not learned so non parametric uh, no parameters are learned here and here real time predictions are made means whenever test pattern came at that time only something happens the real time predictions are uh, made in this case